Made a map with all the stars. So you know Good morning. Welcome to today's video. Currently mid interval, mid sweet spot interval. So yeah, needed to get started really early this morning. So a not not a lot to this intro. I have a two hour trainer ride trying to fit it in before work. That's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get that done right now. Basically, I have seven 10 minute sweet spot intervals to do today. So it's going good so far, but I'm only on the first one. But what I want to show you today is I want to show you my pain cave. I've talked about it a lot lately in the videos. So I think it's time to show you everything I use and how I do it to give you an idea of how I train. But before I do that, I'm going to try to finish this workout because I'm kind of on a time crunch. Quick update on my intervals. I'm almost halfway, not quite, but almost halfway, and uh, starting to feel tired again. I'm kind of glad that the intervals are only 10 since the past couple workouts have been 20 minute intervals. Like always, I'm getting it done, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Fridays are not exactly a recovery ride. They're more like an endurance ride, but it's nice to ease up on doing sweet spot just to do something different. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish knocking these out and that way I can show you guys my trainer setup. That is it for today's ride. That was antelope plus five. Uh, it was it was actually brutal. I thought it was gonna be easier than the previous workouts I've been doing because the efforts were only 10 minutes versus 20. I was wrong. My legs are dead. I'm kind of in a rush now because this was a two hour workout and I really need to get to work now. So I'm probably gonna have to finish this up and show you guys the pain cave later today. I did not eat at all for today's workout. This was a completely fasted workout for two hours. I'm not sure if that was the smartest thing or not, but I definitely need to recover now and get some fuel in the system, get my body going. That way I can continue to do good rides this weekend. Super important. That is my main priority right now. Okay, this camera. It's heavy, it's heavy. I'm gonna get some food, I'm gonna get to work, and then I'm gonna show you guys the pain cave in just a little bit. And I'm finally back. That literally took no time at all, right? I've been gone for several hours. It's now after dark, but it's all good because I did my ride this morning, got it over with, and feeling great all day. So what I wanted to show you guys, I've gotten a couple questions about some of the items here that I'm using for my indoor training rides. So just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what it is that I actually have set up now. First things first, let me give you a quick description of where it is in my house that I train. I'm in the basement. Training in a basement's pretty cool. It's a little bit cooler down here usually, so that's also helpful. And if a tornado shows up while I'm riding, then I'm already safe. I am training on the Cyclops Hammer. This is my second winter with the Cyclops Hammer, and I love it. Uh, prior to having the Cyclops Hammer, I actually rode on a Cyclops Power Beam Pro, which is also a smart trainer, but not direct drive, which means that you left your wheel on to train. The direct drive was truly a game changer for me. Not only does it feel more realistic, but it also is nice not ruining a tire. You guys just recently saw that I got this Wahoo Kicker mat, and I've had a mat before for my trainers. The reason why I didn't have a mat is because it being concrete, it's not really that important to 
keep things nice and tidy. I use a riser block for my front wheel and before the mat that would slide a little bit if I move my hands and now the mat helps keep that a little bit sturdy. I use this cloth over my handlebars to try to keep too much of the sweat from getting down in there and potentially corroding things. I don't run my Garmin at all when I'm on the trainer because my smart trainer is sending all my data to Trainer Road. Trainer Road uploads it to Garmin and Strava. Up next is the Wahoo Desk. And this is one of my favorite things. I just got this a couple weeks ago and I absolutely love this desk. A couple of neat things about the Wahoo desk is that it's got these grooves in the front and back and they're thicker and thinner in different places. And that's so like my, my Google Pixel XL3 here has a case on it and it still fits in the grooves without me having to take the case off. Same thing for my tablet here. The tablet has a case on it and it can fit in there without me taking the case off. The surface of the desk here is kind of like a rubber. It's basically got rollerblade wheels on the bottom of it. So it's pretty easy to push away and pull forward. The Wahoo desk has been an amazing purchase and I absolutely love it. It gives me a secure place to put my devices. Now this fan is a recent purchase. It's a Lasco Pro and it came heavily recommended on the Trainer Road forums. And when, it, when I saw the picture of it on Amazon, I thought to myself, I don't know how this is gonna actually, like the wind is gonna hit me and not just be very tunnel vision because of the opening on the front, but this fan is amazing. And it's got three speed settings. When I first got it and I put it on the lowest setting, I thought there was no way I would need a higher setting, but unfortunately as time has gone on, the higher setting is used every day. In front of me, I have a 47 inch TV and I have an older laptop. So what I will normally do, depending on the workout, is that I'll either be watching Netflix, YouTube videos, just streaming something from TV in general, or I'll be watching Zwift. If I'm not doing any of those, then generally I'm listening to music. Did I forget anything? That's basically it for my trainer setup. If you're just getting started on indoor training, I have a couple recommendations that I could make. A smart trainer, a good fan and some source of entertainment, whether that be movies, videos, TV, or music. To add a fourth one, I really feel like you need some kind of app or program to help you with your training or your indoor riding. So whether that's Trainer Road or Zwift, or there's so many other ones and there's so many new ones coming out as well. So really that's gonna be it for today's video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll be waiting for you.